Welcome everyone, now we learn how to use Content Generator. As we can see, there are three options available when opening the program. Here we can create a new game or load an existing game, but we can also visit the creator's website. Now let's see how to create a new game. Let's call it this. We'll have to write down the other's name and then click on Continue. Here I pulled a sample question now. It can be um, either this, this or this. Afterwards, if I'm done, I'll step on to the next question, filling in the gaps similarly as before. And here can be seen how easy it is really to jump back and forth between questions anytime. It's also possible to delete a question or to start a new game from scratch or quit the whole program, save it or load data from other tests. Now we have done two and I save it. By the way, it should be noted that in order to entirely get rid of the teacher, there should be at least 15 questions prepared, although right now there's no need to show how it works with more than two questions. Good. Now let's save it, give it a name, and we're done. And that's all you needed to know about how to use Content Generator.